Crest, fix each LED mesh screen to its desired display position, and then connect the buckles between each two screens to form a large screen. Step 2. Connect the connectors of each connecting line to the mesh screen, input terminal connectors and tighten the nuts to provide waterproofing. Step 3. Insert the connector on the other end of each connecting wire, into the output connector of the subcontroller and tighten the nut. Step 4. Each subcontroller has AC input and output interfaces, and RJ45 link input and output interfaces. Insert the aviation plug of the power cord of the subcontroller into the AC interface, and the aviation plug of the network cable into the link port for connection. Step 5. Connect the main controller link output port to the input port of the subcontroller. Using a network cable, the main controller is powered on, and the subcontroller is powered on. Finally, using a laptop, you can connect to the main controller via Wi-Fi or HDMI, send the box configuration file to the subcontroller, and send the LED mesh screen connection file to the main controller for testing. After the test is completed, open the screen sprite playback software and upload the video for playback.